Hello, you beautiful people. My name is Photon Mode, and welcome to a really, really awful episode that I expect nobody to watch. But we're going to call this the pipe laying episode. Uh, I actually was not planning on making an episode like this, but uh, I came up with the name pipe laying episode, and I literally could not resist. So <laughs> that's, that's the reason you guys are getting this shit. <laughs> <laughs> is because pipe laying yes I kid you not um, but before we could lay some pipe uh, as you do uh, we are gonna need to make sure we have a way in and out of the water and actually realistically I probably should just do this yeah, yeah, like so, and then grab some of that. There we go. Yeah, now we're talking. Right. There we go. Perfect. I have the feeling, and the reason I'm building down to here is I have the feeling I need to activate this or some shit. Configure it. There we go. So it's got no power is the issue that it says it has. Which is... False? Um... But... Production pause, no power. Hmm... Well, I mean, obviously, it's not going to just arbitrarily start pumping water. But there is no power right now. Oh, because I've not got it fucking connected, Jace. Obviously. All right. Okay. But it appears to be just fine. It's not screaming about anything other than power. So I'm not too fussed about that. But anyway, let's get um, the power home. And then we'll have to lay some pipe all the way over to the coal extractor is basically what we're going to have to do. Um, but honestly, let's focus on getting the power home right now is the main goal I want to focus on. So... Yeah, shit ain't too bad when the space elevator looks very close on the horizon, which is nice, I will admit. I do like the fact that the space elevator makes everything look a lot closer than it actually is. It at least gives me, like, a target to aim for, and that helps a lot. <laughs> um... Because then it doesn't feel like I'm walking so damn far. But that it, it, it's still a long fucking way. Like an unnecessarily long way. But. Yep, we'll see. Uh, I'm so worried about power. I really need to get this coal power up and running because once I have automated power that'll help a ton because I don't have to fuck with any of that um, any of the bio shit and then hopefully we'll be able to get sustainable power like wind and solar at some point um, soon but we'll find out about that one boom okay that's hooked up Okay, so now um, we need to run a power line. Can I break this shit? Nope, it's about to shit on me. Run, Jace, run, 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 run. It's shitting on me. It's about to shit on me. Okay, well, I tried. Um, trying to remember where... Oh, yeah, the coal's over here. 
Oh, that ain't bad. Honestly, that shit ain't that far. So, let's grab... Let's grab some power there. Can I get it over to here? Yes. Good. I like it. Alright, this should be good. Can I put it on this corner? Oh, yeah, that's satisfying as hell. Okay, perfect. And then I'll just throw a power line here. I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to run the coal up to here. Just so that it's not as bad to try and get that shit. Um, like, I, don't, I really don't want to fuck with the coal and the water down here. I'd rather deal with it up here. So, is there any way I can get a conveyor over to here? Then we'll run it right there. Yeah. And then all the way up here. Conveyor belt too long. doesn't look perfect but ah, it's not bad it's not bad at least it's yeah okay all right I'm happy enough with that it'd be better honestly could be better but let's move this to right here and then uh, we will I mean, we might as well just hook it up. Like that. Perfect. So it start bumping out coal. And then... Now I need to run... Water all the way over to here. So the most direct path is probably going to be... Uh, probably through here. Thinking. Um, cause I can't remember exactly where the water is, but I'll just go basically north, and we'll see. Okay, I need more cable for that coal generator. That's fine. Let's pop by the house again and grab some more. Fuck you, plant. Oh, that right there is not. Great. <laughs> um, and before you bitch about my commentary, yes, I fully expected this to be a boring episode, so I'm literally just, like, I, I can't. I'm tired. All right, that's a lot of shit. Um, and then we're going to drop down here and grab some cable. Hell yeah. Alright, got plenty. Fuck you. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I'm trying to figure out, like, a landmark to point at when I'm running the... I guess the concrete would be a good landmark to... So I'll run along the power until I get to the point where I can see the concrete and then I'll go directly towards the concrete and then I can aim a bit more as I'm moving towards there. So I'm just going to run the pipeline along power here. And then we should be good. But managing the flow rate and shit is going to be rough. And then also... Should have logistics. There we go. Okay, I do have a junction. 
And then I got pumps and shit. Okay. Should be doable. This shit does 300 square meters. Or cubic meters, sorry. My apologies. 300 cubic meters. Whereas this does 120 cubic meters. And... So that means I could realistically throw two of them down and then combine them into this pipeline. But we'll see how much demand we need. Honestly, is kind of where I'm at right now, is uh, trying to figure out demand. But we'll see how this goes. All right, let's run the pipeline. Let's go down this hill, actually. Yeah, probably a better idea. Oh, Chase. Do this, this is, yeah, we're just laying pipe, baby. That's all you need. We're laying pipe. My issue is I'm gonna have problems. I'm probably gonna have to redo some of this just to make sure that, because I'm probably gonna have to put some pumps down in here, most likely. Yeah, I'm absolutely... Oh, this is the ugliest fucking pipeline I've ever laid. This is like my spaghetti factory on fucking steroids. And that is going to run through the ground, damn it. Okay, it doesn't look that bad. As long as it doesn't, like, completely clip through the ground, yeah, I, sh I should be okay with it. Alright. This is honestly going a lot better than I thought it would. And a lot faster than I thought it would. So, I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, okay, so I'm thinking I'll start pushing towards concrete now. And this is all downhill, so this... Oh, okay. Well, alright then. This is going to be very downhill. Oop. No, not as downhill. Oh, shit! Um, no, no. Okay, I didn't realize I was being chased down the entire fucking time, apparently. That's one downside to one more hit. Yes. Okay. Whew. Well, I was not paying attention, clearly. I don't know how long I was getting chased down, but that motherfucker wanted me. figure out exactly how I want to do this. So this is 300 cubic meters of pipe, or of water right here. I can't remember how, well, I guess we'll find out how much, um, Okay, so I'm gonna put it here. I'm definitely gonna need, I can almost guarantee I'm gonna need a pump. Uh, oh, oh, I can just throw it on a pump. Nice. This looks like it is totally going the wrong way though. And I don't like that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, sweet. So I can just throw a pump on it in line. Another question is, why is it making me click a second time? Okay, let's see what happens if I put the pump right here. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, it, it wants a... 
Hmm. I wonder what that angle of rotation does. But... Yeah, I want it there. So... Alright, perfect. Okay, so I can just throw a pump in line. That's super nice. Oh, you need power to the pump. That's good to know. Um... But... I don't know how high that is, so we'll see where we need to drop some pumps. There we go. Okay. We got water over here. That's great. Now let's get ourselves uh, power. Let's get ourselves our first cold generator. Um, and we're going to drop this bitch right here. Oh, that looks fucking amazing. Um, and yeah, we're gonna set a couple power lines down. Oh, that looks fucking wonderful. Okay, now I need to get over here. And we need to do this. Where basically I pull the conveyor out to here. I want to do something a bit fancier. Yeah. I want it to look somewhat nice once we've gotten to this point. Sort of. Okay. So... Okay. And then we'll just drag it out over here. Uh, and I've just realized that I'm gonna have to make them cross at some point, but that's okay. Splitter. Let's go this way. Um, is there a way it'll let me? No. Doesn't matter. It's not critical, critical. I've got this in it. Um... Insert fuel, okay. And it doesn't have any water. But it's got fuel now, sweet. Okay, so this needs power for startup. And then it should become self-sustainable. Self okay. But I do need water. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this and we're gonna make the water a tier higher two tiers higher right here and then we're gonna run a pipeline all the way out here and we're gonna put it two tiers higher like so and then I want uh, one of these And I'm gonna turn 180 right there. Whoa, okay, that, I wasn't ready for that. Um, you know, I was, um, not ideal, but that's okay. No water. Okay, so now we've gotta figure out where the fuck the water shit is. Uh, Pipe segment, flush mode, full pipe network, current amount in pipe. Okay. So we're not doing great. Let's figure out where the fuck this is going wrong. And if we're gonna, if we find out that it's going wrong only down here, then that's great. Cause I know we don't, definitely don't have the head to, to get up that. So, yeah, no, nah, this shit empty. Um, all right. So that's not ideal. I'm gonna have to throw some more pumps in there, most likely. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, let's find out where the water is in the pipe and put pumps where necessary. 
Okay, let's see. How many pumps can I make? I can make three. I want to be able to make more because I'm probably going to need like eight. That's my guess. I'm going to need either six or eight. Nice. I like the look of this. Hey, that's awesome. You know what? Yeah, I'll take 30 rotors. Nice. That feels good. I mean, it's because I've basically been playing this like an idle game, but shush. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to. I probably don't even have the headroom to get the full three or 120 like cubic meters. Nothing. There's nothing in that shit. Okay, so I presume there's gonna be nothing in this pipe. So I still have to make, bring the water head higher somewhere else. Ah. Uh. Well, I mean, I knew I was going to have to do this shit, so, like, I can't be surprised, per se. You know? Anything? Nope. Oops. I might have actually eaten too many barrel nuts, but that's okay. This absolutely is where we're having... Oh, my God. Yeah, of course we're having issues here. That's usually a solid 10, 20 meters of head. This water, nope, nothing in here. Is it gonna, is it, has it pooled in this area? Oh, it hasn't even made it here. So where the fuck have I m messed up? Oh, it's probably literally right at the beginning here. That it, it might not even be able to get up to. Yeah, it might not even be able to get up to the basic bit. Fuck, Chase. Is there any water in here? Oh, there's n nine cubic. And then there's no water in there. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, we. Like, we're literally barely able. We barely are getting. Uh, nine tenths of a cubic meter to there so we are literally like just barely missing that head um, which is okay but let's take a look at this and I'm thinking I want to maybe toss down another water extractor okay so we're literally doing okay flow rate max flow rate water it's pushing 120 cubic meters per minute Max for it is 600 cubic meters per minute. Can I can chain these or something? No. No, there doesn't appear to be a way to chain these. Um, I'm thinking I kind of want to maybe do this. Oh shit, this water's shallow as hell, what? <laughs> okay, what is going on here? Okay, well I'm gonna do... Okay, no clue what's going on there. Uh, but we're gonna do this real quick. this and then we're gonna run a pipe out like that yes I like that whoa uh, pipes are crazy I love them 
<laughs> oh shit. No, I probably do. Production, water extractor. So we'll toss a water extractor there. And we'll toss a water extractor there. And then I'm gonna need uh, two of these. Right there. And then one right there. Okay. Then we go from there to there. There to there. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I'm not sure what this is. So that hasn't spread out, but it's spread out down there. Interesting. I can't get under this. There, I can get under that. Oh, oh, oh that scared the hell out of me. Um, let's build out some foundation out to here. I love the splashy, wet water sounds. It's like pop, 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 pop. It's awesome. So good. But, no, no foundations there, but that's okay. That's what jumping is for. Okay, no power. Understandable. Um, let's get... Should I put some sketchy ass power lines out here? Like, just. <laughs> yes. I love this. I'm just putting sketchy power lines. Okay. Alright, so those are running. Let's see. Oh, that's so badass. Oh, that's so badass. That's so badass. Oh, that shit's good. Okay, so that's 240. And then we're having issues probably here. Are we getting anything here? Oh, we're getting a little bit. Yeah, it's like pushing it up to there, and then... I don't know if they're like still spinning up. Oh, we are getting a little bit more. But, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm definitely gonna need a pump right here. I mean... Oh? I'm not getting anything here. What? So I'm thinking I'm probably going to need a pump just to get it over the lip there. Then it should be good. 40. Zero. Yeah, it literally isn't making there. That's hilarious. That's right on the edge, I guess. All right. Pipeline pump. Mark one. Let's put this bitch right here. And then let's power it up. There we go. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. Oh my god. There we go. Oh my god, this is awesome. This is so satisfying. We're going, yeah, we are maxed the fuck out right here. Behind the pump. We're maxed the fuck out. Oh, hell yes. Chase! Dumb shit. Oh, this is awesome. That's full. 
That's full. Okay, apparently there's not a ton in the pipe. That's full, but there's not very little, not very much in this pipe. Why? But that one's full. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna question it, the fact that this, this is getting water and the downhill pipes are like super empty. Okay, I mean, we're still getting flow through here. Water. And water. Yeah, flow through here. Probably gonna run into an issue down here. All right, flow. Flow. Are we doing okay still? It's still full. I mean, did I get a, no? I mean, we're getting flow through here. So I'm not having an issue with. Very good, that, that's filling up. Okay. This is awesome. This is like, oh, I love this. I mean, like we're not getting the same ideal flow, but it's increasing. And then it's all downhill from here, baby. We are getting a flow rate. The pipe isn't like filling up, which I get. Okay, that pipe's filling up. I'm, I'm still thinking we're gonna have an issue at, at a head here because I don't think I powered that pump at the end here. We got water and shit in the pipe. Okay. This is exciting. This is another resource to manage. I love that. Um, we're barely starting to get flow here. But I powered it. I powered this pump. So... We're gonna start to get flow, no flow, but we should start to get flow up here as it reaches the pump and starts no flow, okay. Okay, so I just need water. I need 45 cubic meters a minute. That's plenty doable. I don't, oh, uh, for a full 75 megawatts, I don't know what we need. Like what rate this is gonna consume coal. Oh, I can't wait to see this turbine spin up though. Oh, we're getting some flow. Oh, we're getting some flow. Oh, we're getting some flow. Oh, we're getting some flow! Oh, winter! Oh! That's it! That's the turbine spinning up. Our coal generator is officially online. Oh, yes, look. Nah. There we go. Look at that. That's 75 megawatt jump. So consumption 45 cubic meters a minute. Oh, we're good. We're good with water. I mean, it's fluctuating here, which is okay. I had expected to fluctuate there, but this should be, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're good. We got all the shit. I actually didn't need half as many. Okay, that's good. That shit's covered. Okay. 
All right, let's start. Uh, let's see, 75 megawatts. I can shut down two. Oh my God, seeing all the pollution makes me sad. I need to get sustainable energy as soon as possible. I don't like any amount of pollution. I'm still gonna need this for a little bit till I get coal like completely taking care of all of my power issues. But I should be able to take out at least these back two here. I mean, shit, we're just burning biofuel anyway. So if I take this out. This will remove 30 megawatts of capacity. I should still be fine with that. Yeah, that barely made a dent. Okay. Need time to take out another biomass burner. I don't know why this one decided to start its graph in a funky spot, but okay. There's the next drop. Okay. Again, I'm still feeling pretty comfortable. Uh, maybe, am I able to deconstruct these ones? Yeah, I can de deconstruct these shitty biomass burners. 20 megawatts, I could take another 40 megawatts out, honestly. That shit ain't bad. So let's take a look. Those ones will slowly shut down. That's another 20 megawatts. Another 20 megawatts. Bringing my capacity down to about... Uh, 225. That should be okay. At a rough... I'm peaking at like 177. 225 megawatt hours. I'm still feeling pretty comfortable with that. Aww. That's just dismantling the... Oh, I can't dismantle them. Dang it. Well, at least I'm not powering those anymore. Honestly, I don't really give a shit about powering those. But that is about as low as I'm willing to go right now. Now the question is, if I'm to make another coal... Oh, not 10. Shit, I was pressing... That one's my bad. I just want one. There we go. Okay, I got plenty to make another coal generator. Okay, let's head over there and make another coal generator. Let's... Let's double it up here. Oh god, all the pollution. <laughs> just the smelters. Ah, we're okay. Just the... No, again, the biomass burners I'm, are burning. I None of this has been sustainable. Like, literally nothing is sustainable. Coal is more efficient than biomass. I'm eventually going to get to sustainable energy and we'll be all good. Yes, we'll be a lot happier once we get to sustainable energy. Let's push this out. Okay. And then we'll grab that. And I got a little wiggly wobbly, but that's okay. Let's make another one of these. Okay. There's another coal generator. Splitter. Put it right there. I need one of those pine plane junctions. Okay. I'm just gonna pop that in there. It's immediately gonna start getting water. Okay. I wanna make 
make sure that's not... I mean, that flow looks fine. I mean, yeah, shit's full, man. Okay. Perfect. Okay, jeez. Put that in. And I need to connect this to power. that these manage these um, these adjust to okay okay uh, assuming capacity still calculates based off of uh, max so like if these guys have to push to max capacity then they will cover to max 300 megawatt hours. I could pull that down back to 225 or so and it'd still feel pretty comfortable. So let's take out another few biomass burners. Oh God, it feels so nice to have at least like automated power. That's so nice. Scaling coal up is going to be a little difficult, but the fact that two or three of them should be able to sustain my entire operation for now is pretty nice. Like, I've literally got two of them and, let's see, one, two, five biomass burners currently running the whole operation. So I'll let that go and go out. I can take out another two biomass burners easily. Maybe even three. Let's see what happens if we take out three and leave just two biomass burners online. I know I'm gonna at least take out that one. 270 megawatts. About to drop to 240. Okay, and then we'll drop to 210. Which I honestly feel pretty comfortable with having a, a 210 megawatt capacity at like 160 peaks, 175 occasionally. I don't remember it ever peaking above that. So I feel pretty comfortable with that. About 150 megawatts is... What? I thought I... Six. I must have not taken the fuel out of that one. I thought I took the fuel out of this one. My bad. Okay. There we go. That dropped off. Okay, 210 megawatts. I'm actually pretty comfortable with that. Now, being able to sustain two biomass burners, hell of a lot easier. Okay, that's pretty easy. 210. Oh, God. It's, uh, it's definitely going to break one of these days, but we're just going to ignore that. We're just going to ignore that. Um, that should be enough until hopefully I can get my next. I've got enough for another coal generator. Let's see, 240, 50, 300. And if it's only consuming about 225, yeah, I could get a third coal generator and completely automate this. Yeah, I'm thinking that's totally worth it. 
thinking that's absolutely worth it. And three coal generators will be 225 capacity. That's absolutely doable. Okay. Placing that there. We're gonna do that splitter. Cross. Grab some of this shit. Put that in there. And then gonna drop that shit into there. And then we're gonna wow. Yeah, we're gonna ignore how fucking messy that is. And the shit should be running. Sweet. And this stuff literally just runs as efficient as possible. This is basically how this works. So if I'm below capacity, these won't be consuming at full rate. Whereas the biomass burners were always running 100%. They were running full fucking tilt. That's still at 100. That's still at 100. Yeah. This is so much more efficient than the biobass burners and the fact that it can be automated. Oh my god, so much better. Yes. Alright. So here's the downside. And I'm gonna keep one biomass burner around. The one on the base or like I'm gonna load the two on the base um, because if this network goes down I need the power to kickstart the network again like that's self-sustainable but if if it goes out uh, I lose it shit I don't really want to fuck with these power poles Hopefully nothing lost. Connection. Okay, 225, perfect. All right, these guys I'm gonna put on standby. And then we're gonna fill them up. So these are basically here to jumpstart everything if I accidentally go over capacity. Basically. Like, that's literally all they're for. Let's get rid of all of this shit. Oh, this whole fucking mess. Oh, yes. Yes. There we go. There we go. That's... That's good. There we go. That feels a lot better. Honestly. Let's fuck out of here. Let's put this shit right here. Yeah, all right, and then we get rid of all of these things that we don't need. Yes. Okay, perfect. Ah, there we go. I knew I was missing something. Oh, perfect. That feels nice. We've got power completely taken care of. Um, all entirely automated with coal. I mean, not incredibly happy about the whole coal thing. I don't have enough rotors to make another one. That's fine. 
Um, I mean, I, I do have enough rotors now, definitely, to make another one. And I've always had enough rotors to make another one. But... <sighs> well, here's the thing. Yeah, no, 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 I'm fine. No, I'm gonna leave it as is. No. Well, I don't know. Let's look at the power. Again. I'm fine. 200. Like, what are these peaking at? 166. 225 is plenty. I'm not too worried about it. If it goes down, I'll fix it. If it goes down, I'll just add another coal generator. No problem. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I'm definitely fine with iron plates right now. <laughs> Went a little overkill there. But that's okay. I can start pushing more shit. And, like, that's overkill right now. But eventually, I'm definitely going to need that density of iron plates. I'm going to need that many. Oh, well, hello there. Um... All right, but buddy, do you want to, like, maybe... Hmm. Okay. All right. A little bit of respect for physics, ideally, but... Uh, not everybody can, can have that, you know? This shit's... Oh, right. I was thinking about adding the fourth one. Um... I mean, having a fourth for screw protection would be really, really good. Uh, I don't know. I just didn't build the space in for it is the issue. I kind of fucked it up. And not building in the space. I don't really want to super spaghettify this. So, I'll leave it as is. It's slightly inefficient, but... I'll leave it as is. Okay. Well, that was... Uh, I was about to say that was an interesting episode. It was probably boring as hell, honestly. But it was a productive episode. We pushed a lot of pipe. Uh, I only needed two pumps, apparently. So my estimate of needing six or eight pumps was completely fucking wrong. Uh, but we... Like, we are laying pipe like... Ooh, like I was back in high school. He says wistfully, because he totally didn't, because because he's 20 and runs a YouTube channel with with what like 12 subscribers, 17. I don't even know how many fucking subscribers I have. 20? No, I don't have 20 subscribers. I'm not that popular. Maybe. 21. Shit, I am that popular. All right. <laughs> well, I just made my night. Hopefully, I made yours. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Photon Mote with some more satisfactory. Uh, next episode, we're probably going to expand production. And I think I'm going to build another iron production facility. Except for this time, we're going to focus on uh, getting some iron rods in here. Actually, not even iron rods. Honestly, I'm fine with iron rods. I probably should ex do an iron production facility exclusively for screws. I think I'm literally just going to make a screw production facility. And I'm going to do, like, the same level of screw production. Hell yeah. All right. That's the plan uh, for next episode. It's time to get screwy.